Okay, so we're talking here about vulnerability management. Before we dive into what Microsoft Stack has in this domain, I'd like to talk about the domain itself. So what is vulnerability management according to analysts? So in 2019, Gartner released this document right here, where they state that they updated their own framework for vulnerability management. Now this document is great because it highlights what they updated based on modern needs for vulnerability management. What I want to focus on here is really the phases of this updated vulnerability management cycle, right? So vulnerability management essentially is um, a domain that helps administrators prioritize based on, on vulnerabilities, based on uh, value, asset value, based on exposure impact. It helps uh, administrators and cybersecurity analysts to out, act based on this signals from the prioritization um, phase. It also helps you reassess, so continuously assessing your environment. Naturally, that will lead to improvement in your environment and, of course, evolving this uh, service level agreements and processes within your environment. Um, and down the line, it will help you report and create a comply better compliance against standards that you are following. So in general, this is what analysts say the vulnerability management cycles are, right? Now, I'd like to take a moment and look at what Microsoft has released recently or put in preview actually, right? So in pre we have in public preview a solution called Microsoft Dependent Vulnerability Management. Um, you can try for free for a number of days and weeks. Um, I highly recommend you do that if you are interested in getting your hands on the solution yourself. But essentially what the solution entails is uh, a way to provide you with all those different phases of vulnerability management across your environment. Um, it goes beyond what threat vulnerability management currently does within Microsoft Defender um, for endpoint. Okay, so that's important. And there are four pillars to the capabilities of the solution, uh, knowing meaning identifying your environment and different applications, software, different uh, endpoints that you're protecting and understanding vulnerabilities according to these different operating systems and environment. Uh, getting different advanced assessment tools, meaning uh, you have dedicated uh, scanners that you can deploy on site. You have uh, scanners that can run differently in your environment as needed. And of course, the assessment will also look at uh, different Microsoft uh, baselines and assessment, but also according to industry standards as well. It helps you greatly prioritize. Uh, so prioritization is something key in our solution. So it's something you'll see uh, a lot in it. And finally, remediation, right? So helping you track progress of how you're doing and how you're faring with it. So it's all about reducing cyber risk, essentially. Um, if we look at the uh, solution itself, uh, it's everything is behind or available through a centralized administration configuration panel. Um, it has all these four tenets of features, feature sets in it, and everything can be integrated with APIs. Just, as you scroll down here, you can have a detailed view of capabilities of the solution and uh, even the plans that this is available on. Essentially, for E5 customers, so uh, with access to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 2 and E5, you can add on. So you just buy an add on or a step up license, and you get all the capabilities that you need. If for customers that don't have E5, they can buy Defender Vulnerability Management as a standalone product. That is essentially the gist of it from a, a, an overview and licensing perspective. Of course, pricing you'll have to go through official channels to get that for you. Now, jumping into the platform itself. So this is the dashboard. So this is Microsoft Defender Vulnerability Management. It is part of our security dashboard right here. Uh, and it also is part of the vulnerability management section under endpoints. So have a look here on the left hand side. You can see the vulnerability management section. Uh, and in here you have all the available capabilities of the solution. Of course, we always start out with, within the dashboard, within the overview um, section of any solution. So this is where you can get a glimpse at all the main points of it. 
starting out with the exposure score. So as I said, the solution is really focused on reducing cyber risk and providing uh, a way for you to reduce your cyber risk. So the exposure score helps you identify uh, what is, um, how it, your environment is doing in terms of exposure to vulnerabilities. So if you want to improve your score, all you have to do is of course click here and then be taken to the security recommendations page where you'll be given details on all the vulnerabilities in your environment. Uh, the operating systems that this is coming from or the application where this is coming from. Uh, and right as you start to drill down into the recommendations, you start seeing the benefits of the solution. It helps you identify potential breaches according to these vulnerabilities that are being reported, potential active threats uh, attacking against these vulnerabilities, and helps you understand how many exposed devices you have with this vulnerability. So the more uh, devices impacted and the higher the value of that asset, the higher the impact uh, that that specific vulnerability is going to have. So the impact is a score that takes up multiple signals to actually um, help you prioritize what is actually needed to be remediated first, right? So uh, yeah, you have indications here about business impact and uh, what really you should be taking care of. So it's easy for you to see that from this list, you should start off by remediating the first of this list, right? So if you click on it, you will get um, more details on this uh, vulnerability. And essentially, within whenever there is risk, the platform provides you ways to tell what you want to do with, the, with that risk. So you want to accept the risk, if you want to create an exception for that risk, or if you want to take care of it. All right, so by looking at this overview of the, the risk or vulnerability, what we can do is get further details on everything that is related to it, including the common vulnerability um, exposure of this vulnerability, all the exposed devices, the installed devices, associated CVEs and their impact, um, and so on and so forth. Great way for you to start doing that. You can scroll down and have a further look into further down the line, uh, further down the list if you want to. Uh, this list also, also provides you with related threats and reports associated with vulnerabilities. All right, so going back to the main dashboard there, uh, we would also be able to see from the main dashboard here, top security recommendations, which is essentially uh, the same list we're just going over. We can also see score for devices, exposure distribution based on uh, severity, and top events happening in your environment. Uh, as part of the solution, we're not only uh, looking for vulnerabilities on operating systems, but also on software as well. Software running on Windows and other platforms here. So just look at uh, top vulnerable software so that you can understand what's going on. And of course, again, what you need to investigate further. Now, on the left-hand side, in the beginning to remediation, here's where we can see what activities we can take to uh, reduce our risk, essentially. So as it, uh, as it loads up here, we can see that everything in here is also um, has a severity attached to it or priority. So you can actually organize and start uh, remediating as you see fit in your organization. It also tells you components that are related to this um, potential vulnerability or issue in your environment. So have a look here. We have recommendations for you to fix the Fender for Endpoint sensor data collection. Uh, and it tells you what, you what needs to be done. So this is a configuration change that needs to be done. As you click on it, you can see a description of what this is and how to take care of it. Um, it also helps you understand uh, what is the remaining time for their vulnerability and when it should be taken care of. There are also software update uh, alerts here that you're flagged off. So make sure that you're updating Google Chrome, for example. Uh, it tells you of known vulnerabilities in this specific version, how many devices are affected by this vulnerability in the software, uh, and so on and so forth. It also tells you 
So you only tickets created for the specific um, remediation task. We also help you keep track of inventories in your environment. Like I said, not only looking at software uh, op operating systems, but looking at applications. So understanding what applications are running on your devices and the vulnerabilities uh, affecting those applications. We are also looking at browser extensions within Edge uh, and even certificates and uh, potential exposure and uh, weak signature algorithms being utilized by these certificates on your environment. It also helps you understand when it was issued and if there's anything expired in your environment from a certificate perspective. And this list of inventories is increasing, increasing. So you'll see more uh, stuff added to the inventories as time, as time goes on. You can uh, get a glimpse at all the weaknesses in your environment by look, having a look at well, specific vulnerabilities in your environment and their criticality. So before we were looking at um, exposure and impact based on multiple signals, but if you want to have a look at specific uh, and prioritize based on specific CVE severity or choose their CVSS score, this is where you go. Right? So you come in here, you can uh, organize all your uh, known weaknesses and uh, CVEs in your environment and treat them as you see fit. This greatly helps your uh, cyber analysts or cybersecurity analysts to search for specific CVEs that they have seen on a threat, on an active threat in, in the wild. So if they've, they have seen attackers uh, targeting a specific CVE, they can come in here and understand what's the exposure level for that CVE in your environment. We also have event timeline to help you understand if there are zero day vulnerabilities in your environment, uh, if there are new vulnerabilities and when these vulnerabilities were uh, added to your environment based on constant scanning that the platform does. Uh, within baseline assessments, we help you understand and create that baseline uh, of risk and help you understand if there are devices going above what's acceptable here. That's essentially what this is. You can define the profiles based on uh, different standards, for example. Right. So this is a quick look at Defender for Vulnerability Management and preview currently, and hope that it's been uh, informative for you. Thank you.